What's up, peers? And I welcome you to join the Wasabikas, a Bitcoin privacy podcast. My name is Max Hillebrand, and I'm very eager to welcome you here to this very first episode uh, of this new podcast focused exclusively uh, on venturing down the rabbit hole uh, that is the Bitcoin privacy space. Uh, this is something that I am personally really excited about uh, and uh, that uh, I hope that you peers out there listening will enjoy as much as I do. We will on this show talk about, well, first of all, the philosophy of privacy itself, right? Uh, wh what this actually is and, and why this is so important to many individuals. Um, and, you know, specifically, at least for me, uh, privacy is the aspect to selectively reveal oneself to the world. Uh, and this aspect of choice with whom to interact with and what to tell someone else uh, is something, uh, of course, inherently tied to human liberties and dignity. Uh, and in a free world, therefore, well, uh, privacy is the default. Uh, there is a choice. Uh, and we can, in today's current age, with tools of cyberspace, uh, manifest privacy in a really powerful way. Um, in a way to whisper over the internet so that nobody can read the message that you're actually sending. Um, this is uh, quite fascinating and extremely liberating. Uh, and of course, uh, this does not just uh, stop uh, with encryption uh, of sensitive communicative, uh, communications. No, this goes especially, of course, into the Bitcoin space. Now, Bitcoin is, of course, a monetary asset, right? A, a sound monetary uh, instrument uh, that is used by individuals, well, first of all, to get paid, uh, and uh, second, then to hold on to their value uh, for a certain period of time, right? To huddle on to their Bitcoin wealth, uh, so to ultimately going to spend them. Uh, but what is at the very core of Bitcoin? It is, again, the choice, the choice of which monetary network to use, uh, with which peers to associate on your network. Uh, and, and, well, if you choose the Bitcoin consensus rules, then you do associate with other Bitcoin full nodes uh, and you communicate then only to them. Uh, and of course, uh, this also applies not just to running Bitcoin, but to use Bitcoin, right? So, so to get paid and to hold on to your wealth and to spend it. Well, you ought to do that in a private way so that you have the control over what to reveal about yourself to the world. Uh, and since Bitcoin is a rather public network where a lot of information is shared freely, um, we need to take some extraordinary steps uh, to protect that choice uh, and to keep control over what we tell other people. Uh, and oh, well, thankfully, there are many software tools out of there in the world that can be used to protect this choice, uh, this freedom uh, to express yourself uh, also in the Bitcoin realm. Uh, and uh, well, one of the pioneering softwares is, of course, Wasabi Wallet. And as you might hear from the name of this show, Join the Wasabikas, I am a large user and contributor and fan of the Wasabi project. And I'm therefore eager uh, to collaborate with some of the peers contributing to it, the actual Wasabikas building this amazing Bitcoin wallet um, to bring you this podcast. Um, uh, this is going to be uh, hopefully a, a long-term and prosperous um, collaboration and sharing of this, uh, of this knowledge. Uh, and thankfully, it is not just going to be me <laughs> because that would be utmost boring if you all would have to listen uh, just to my blabbering all the time. Uh, that uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that I can save you from, but because I am planning to bring on some of the most extraordinary contributors to free software in the Bitcoin privacy space uh, to talk about, well, what motivates them? What motivates these individuals to go out there and to write the code and to build the software uh, that uh, you can ultimately use, right? Uh, what is that driving force for them specifically? Um, why they're interested in privacy? Um, and uh, willing to contribute so much to that space. Uh, and this, of course, in, includes Wasabi Wallet, but the Bitcoin privacy space is much larger than this. Uh, so we will be having guests here uh, from all types of projects uh, that are being worked on that advance individual choice and individual empowerment uh, to reveal oneself uh, to the world. Uh, well, of course, in financial transactions. So, Piers, that is the gist of it. This is the Join the Wasabikas Bitcoin Privacy Podcast. And um, why am I doing this? Well, uh, because I love Wasabi and uh, I think it's a, a utmost beautiful tool that uh, is, uh, well, still a rough diamond in its shape. And there has to be a lot of contributions done um, 
of course, to Wasabi, but in more general, the entire Bitcoin privacy space. Uh, so my goal here is, is uh, to reach out and to spread valuable information from the people who, who build these tools um, and to encourage others uh, to, to become productive. Uh, and to build something beautiful for themselves. Um, and, but of course, also to use these tools, right? Uh, that's where uh, I think um, the, the creative part uh, starts already, uh, just by becoming a user of a free software project. This is so closely tied to, to actually contributing to and to building the software itself. Um, and me personally, uh, I am first and foremost a user uh, of free software projects. Um, uh, and not at all, for example, a developer. I could not write a line of code. <laughs> uh, and it uh, would take quite a lot of my time to actually gain an expertise of that. But nevertheless, it is possible, uh, even for naive users like me, uh, to be part of the space and uh, to help create something delightful. Uh, and this is my passion in uh, also speaking and educating and uh, creating this podcast um, as I'm speaking right now. Uh, to encourage you to defend yourself and uh, to help others defend themselves too. Uh, and this is, I think, the beauty of the free software collaboration um, in the Bitcoin privacy space. So without uh, any further ado, uh, this was it uh, for this very first uh, introductionary uh, episode zero of the Join the Wasabikas Bitcoin Privacy Podcast. Uh, Piers, I'm Max Hillebrand, and I'm so eager to continue this journey down the Bitcoin privacy rabbit hole with you in the next show. Bye-bye.